This is my dad's office chair. I love the DX racer pillow. It really brings it all together. Hey, 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 welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin, and today we're gonna be taking another look at r slash DIY. Why? Mmm, one of your five a day Heinz Beans DND dice. I know they're not actually DND dice, but still, that's what I know them from. But at least they got a nice healthy dose of beans. My own creation. I needed a larger bin than the two small ones I had, so I cut the bottom of one of them off, flipped it upside down, and zip tied it together to make a bin twice the height. Not the best looking or practical, but it works. You yourself admitted it wasn't very practical. <laughs> So not only does it look like crap, it's not very useful. Is that a countertop blender being used as a garbage disposal? You know, this is disgusting, but I will say it's quite impressive that they seemingly got this to work. I mean, clearly not very well because there's a bunch of disgusting water just sitting there constantly, but still, well, well, well. That's all I can think of. They turned their boat into a pool. What else am I supposed to say about it? Now, come on, that's just cool, okay? It's not DIY, it's DI how the hell do I do that myself? All right, so it's a chair made out of books? I mean, the seat cushion is made out of books? How is that comfy? Also, how is that proper recycling? <laughs> a few of these are gonna feel like someone thought, well, instead of giving them to Goodwill or to somebody else, we can reuse them. No, seriously, I've got an idea. Well, that's definitely not the worst idea. I mean, if I'm being honest, that one's pretty creative. It's stupid, don't get me wrong, I would never recommend doing it, but dude, it works. Now, how was this supposed to help me keep my hair brushed in the morning? It's like I'm getting a scalp massage from a dozen tiny fairies. Why buy a part online for $20 when you can waste an entire weekend making your own? That's a good point. 3D printing is... Well, it's interesting so far. Besides, shipping usually takes a day or two still anyway. Why not make it yourself? It's more fun. This is all good until the airbag malfunctions from moisture damage and your passenger takes a cactus through the face at 300 miles per hour. Yeah, that's incredibly dangerous and looks like sh**. Ah, grandma. Helping me keep my car in shape since the 40s. <laughs> That looks awesome. And by awesome, I mean uniquely terrible. Okay, so someone felt the need to turn their bicycle into, I guess, a zombie apocalypse bicycle? Feels incredibly dangerous. I mean, I know the chainsaw is powering that front wheel, but it's gonna be great when you can run right through that giant crowd of zombies for the first time. Groovy. Yes, that seems very comfortable. Thank you for that. Made to order. 16-legged centipede chicken taxidermy curiosity by Casper's Creatures. Made to order. Maybe instead of selling these online, you should go work in the movie business. Ah, thank you. Is this what Sid did? You know, the kid from Toy Story when he grew up? Are you kidding me? You got like an 80 cent chow mein meal from the store and turned it into a clock. Yeah, what time is it? Yeah, time for me to f take that off the wall. This is stupid. Large lead corn weights. Oh wow, it's listed in Texas. I was gonna say Nebraska. Custom Ford Taurus convertible. <laughs> oh, it's custom all right. It's always funny when someone decides to quote unquote customize the worst cars ever made. The decor at a local bar. Uh, just mops? Just mops on their chairs? That's it? Also, are they projecting YouTube videos on the wall? <laughs> Screw this place! They spent 12 cents per chair, making them look like that, and they're still gonna charge you 12 bucks for a beer. Dude, just give up on it at that point. I'd rather walk than drive something like that around. Not because of what people think of me, but because holy crap, that thing's about to fall apart. Seems a little dangerous. Look, if your car is being held up with duct tape, you need to re- prioritize. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Trypophobia to the max. That is gross. Vintage egg carton with marbles hanging lamp. Ah, yes. Just like the vintage egg carton marble lamps from the 70s. The faucet in my cousin's bathtub fell off. They had a fascinating solution. Is that a battery? Hold on. Let me zoom in here and take a look at this. Is that a battery? <laughs> Oh, really nice. Why? <laughs> 
Why do people really want to make their toilets look nice? It's a toilet. You know what they're used for, right? You're not really going to be looking at it while you're doing your business, so who cares? I made a sweater out of dryer fluff, so I could rightfully say that all my garments and towels together have brought forth a whole new garment. Oh, dude. Oh, man. You'd think it would be funnier. But it's not. It's just gross. I hope some billionaire musician doesn't see this, then they'll start selling something that looks like that for a thousand bucks a piece. Looking at you, Kanye. Preserved fry earrings. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ugh. It looks like grass or astroturf in there, but... Mm, mm, that bathroom is just the worst. Wow, how much money did that save you? I don't think doorknobs and door handles are that expensive. Well, that's one way to display your Hot Wheels collection. On your Dodge Caravan, or Chrysler Voyager, or whatever the hell it's called. It doesn't matter, it's a minivan. Ah, uh, how the hell did you manage that? No, really, how? I want to know what that process looked like. Joker chair. Joker-inspired chair. Great, it, it looks like it's molded to hell. Mmm. Did you do that part on purpose? Oh, there they are. The Kool-Aid Jammers kicks, bro. Still want them Coke slides, though. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate the man leg table. Or should I say the cowboy leg table? End table decor that looks like turds in kitty litter. <laughs> It's so nice. You're such a great interior decorator, Susan. Don't go over to Susan's house. She decorates with cat shit. Meat bunny. Hold on. I'm I'm preparing myself for what I'm about to see. Oh, it's not as bad as I was expecting, but it still sucks. Well, I've definitely seen worse things put on people's cars. Here in the Springs, down in Colorado, we've got more than a few famous cars because they're just littered with anime. One of them's bordering on more inappropriate anime, if you will. Who needs to buy a phone mount? Just throw this bad boy together with some leftover scraps. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right away. I am so freaking excited that my living keyboard experiment is working. Soon my fingers will have lush grass to help me feel like I'm working in nature. I seeded it only a week ago and look at it go. <sighs> I genuinely don't even want to know what is wrong with this person. I'm amazed with the outcome of this project. Thanks to Blank, who was looking for a way to repurpose this nightstand, and she was able to create this beautiful piece. How it started. How it ended up. Well, at least it had great execution, I guess. Wow. You liked the PT Cruiser so much, you stuck it on the back of your freaking motorcycle. DIY custom paint job. Oh, those are dangerous words. Screw off. Keep out. I don't want to see the rest of the car. Black cow pelvis with red candles. A cow pelvis candle holder. Only 150 bucks. Today I found out how the previous tenants fixed the kitchen cabinet. With toothpicks. No way. Now that's ingenuity if you ask me. Well, could have just bought an old truck, but I admire the ethic. Stylish people are putting plates on walls, and we're here for it. No, we're not. You might be, but the rest of us are not. We eat off of our plates. I think if there's one thing the Millennials and Gen Z are not gonna tolerate, it's spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars on plates that you're not allowed to fucking use. We're done with that type of excess. It's kinda stupid. 14-foot custom-made countertop, island top, or tabletop was made in customer-changed mind of design. This is 14 feet long and is approximately 36 inches wide. Epoxy top with two layers, $300 value, and lightly stained. Wood glued together and screwed together. Heavy duty, built, and will last a lifetime. Better than your fake wood material countertop. Built out of 2x10 with metal supports underneath to prevent warping. Just looking to get cost of materials in return. Well, if it didn't look like ass, I'd consider it. No dentist's office is complete without random rocks in the bathroom sink. This is true. They need that, and it has to be covered in sea creatures and shit. It's like a law that dentists have to follow for design. Mmm, <laughs> that chair do be looking kinda thick, though. Does your seat have a true Pixar mom dumpy? Wait, what? Is it an eggshell wreath? Why is it in a chair? This smells like a Pier 1 Imports. Is this Pier 1? There's a reason they went bankrupt, okay? <sighs> Those poor birds. Come on, give them something real. Introducing the carpeted shower floor. No way. No 
fucking way. That is easily the most disgusting and quite dangerous thing I've seen in a bathroom in a long time. That is Mold City, USA. Want a rainfall shower head? Well, make it out of 14 cents worth of PVC. Yeah, I know it's more than 14 cents. I'm just, you know what? It doesn't matter. Look at how awful that is. This sink would actually tear your hands apart. I didn't realize you all vigorously rubbed your hands against your sink. No, but it's a pretty shallow sink, so maybe you're gonna prick your finger every now and then when you're scrubbing your fingies. Size 8 to 10, waist 72 centimeters, length 60 centimeters, narrow fishtail fit. Upcycled nobody jeans to a skirt. Can arrange for pickup in Bustleton or post deliver for seven dollars. <laughs> I'm I'm good. Honestly, I think I speak for most conscious human beings when I say that. Custom made mac and cheese box organizer holds up to thirty boxes, six boxes per slot. Or you could put them in your fucking pantry. Don't have one of those? Your cabinet. Don't have those? What's going on? So I collect dead insects. I got these the other day to celebrate spring. Yes, those are real spiders. Real dried pressed flowers and gold leaf. What do y'all think? Well, again, at least it's somewhat good execution. <laughs> Paint an old ceiling fan in a vibrant design, attach it to a wood post, and put it in your garden. No. <laughs> oh my god, come on. <laughs> This spray-painted plant my roommate's boyfriend got her. What did you do? Why would, why would you do that? Ah, yes, taking a crap, but with extra steps. Uh, where's your bathroom? Oh, it's up the stairs, about halfway. It's what? Yeah, you'll see it. You can't miss it, really. Steampunk-inspired bass guitar. You can't just call whatever you want steampunk just because you put a brass horn on the side of it. Nothing screams home like cans on a string hanging from a stick. Yeah... Where in the Bible Belt is this? Wait, is that a- that is a coffin, right? But now it's a stove? Bebe's house is looking so amazing. I love your new stairs, Bebe. They're all the new rage, and if you don't have them, folks, you should really start g growing some of your own. Holy crap, that was a twist I wasn't expecting. Thrift stores hold interesting secrets. Don't I know it. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. It's broken and looks terrible. Ooh, no way. No freaking way. No, uh-uh. Now get out of here with that. How does the car even move? Each one of those wheels is like 80% of its own weight. Finally, a bathroom fit for me and the boys. Finally get to hold hands while doing the business. This is, and I'm not joking, an 1882 US patent for a mousetrap, and it's the most American thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Seems like an incredibly expensive mousetrap. I mean, I don't know what a cult ran back in the 1800s, but I don't think it was very cheap. Star Trek Data Art. Are you sure about that? This woman was spray painting her car black in a Walmart parking lot on a windy day. <sighs> Is that really much cheaper than getting it actually painted? I mean, you could go to Mako and pay like five to eight hundred bucks for a crap paint job, but at least it'll last longer than your spray paint. Why is your whole house a roof? How is this beneficial? Would this not be more expensive as well? What did I make this week? Butt wipes or toilet not paper. We've used cloth wipes in our house for ages, but this is my new setup. Individual wipes rolled up on a TP roll. You're using actual- uh, you're not flushing these, are you? First of all, wow. Wow! And on that super awful, disgusting note, we've come to the end of another video, folks. But before we get going, let's take a look at today's fan art. A little fan art of the Lexi Kitty I put together. Wait a minute, am I supposed to have been Lexi? What's up, sexy? I'm not Lexi. <laughs> Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, then make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. And hey, if you're feeling super generous, why not check out my links in the description down below? And until next time, I'll catch you later.